The ensemble Voix et Fait Chamber Orchestra from France appeared at the concert auditorium of the Oświęcim Music School. Its only concert in Poland was part of a European tour by the ensemble, which for years now has been commemorating the works of composers persecuted by the Nazi regime. Pupils from the school also performed at the concert. There were over 200 people in the audience, including Helena Niewińska, a former Auschwitz prisoner who played in the camp orchestra. I had no idea how many people we would have in the audience, but the fact that we had over 200 people it was absolutely overwhelming for us, and especially for me, of course. Um, and also the relationship with the students at the music school, with the, also with the, the, the authorities of the school, the involvement of the school itself was for us really the, the, the sign that it was the good thing to do, the right thing to do. It has gone far beyond what I expected in terms of um, involvement of our group toward Auschwitz. Because for us, you know, everybody was a bit um, afraid of coming here. It's something which has such a reputation that's, that bears so, such a weight, historical weight, that um, for us, most of us, it was the first time for most of us. It's, it, it was absolutely necessary to, to, to deepen and to, to, to get more involved individually. The project involved more than the concert. The musicians toured the Auschwitz site, held workshops for young students from the Oświęcie Music School and took part in an educational session at the International Center for Education about Auschwitz and the Holocaust, featuring a lecture by the French musicologist Professor Philippe Olivier on music in the concentration camps.